गुड मॉर्निंग गाइस दिस इज योर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर सेशन आई एम खिलेश कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इंग्लिश सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू पॉइम और टू द वेस्ट विंड कंपोज बाई पी वी सैली we have studied about a very beautiful poem to a skylark that was also composed by pp sani so this is your second poem composed by pp sani off to the west wind so let's start so first of all let's take a view on the introduction to the poet this is the full name of pp sally by c by sally and uh, sally was born in 1792 and died in 1822 and uh, he was english romantic poet no doubt we see lyrical qualities in his poems so he is regarded as one of the greatest lyric and philosophical poets philosophical elements we can easily find in the poems of sally he did not get fame during his lifetime but after his death he achieved a fantastic recognition because of his poems so after his death he got reputation because of his poems in his lifetime he didn't get such uh, so much uh, famous uh, sorry so much fame and recognition he was a member of visionary poets Uh, these are some visionary poets lord baron john keats le hunt thomas lowe peacock and his own second wife mary sally so pp sally also was one of them he is also uh, the member of visionary poets so now we come on the poem or to the west wind so first of all i would like to tell you that pb sally was a nature poet uh, we see that the most important characteristic in the poem of sally is nature so in our pre previous uh, poetry to a skylark sally addressed uh, sally addresses the poem to a skylark to a very sweet uh, bird skylark and skylark is the object of nature skylark represents nature so similarly in this poem we see that west wind is also a natural object and in the poem especially uh, in the poem sally especially uh, tells about the power of nature so or to the west wind composed by sally in 1819 near florence Italy. Okay, so to the west wind was composed by P. B. Sally in eighteen hundred nineteen 
near Florence and Florence is a place which is situated in Italy. The poem was published in 1820 in the collection Prometheus Unbound. So in 1820 uh, a collection was published uh, by B.B. Sally. Uh, the name of the collection was Prometheus Unbound and in this collection the poem West to the Bay, sorry, the poem Ode to the West Wind was published. So, if we see the title of the poem, Ode to the West Wind, Ode, the poem is in form of Ode. Ode, especially addressing to someone or something and uh, if you talk about subject matter and uh, uh, writing style so the poet is uh, elevated and sublime subject matter and writing style in art in the poem the poet feels closely connected to the power of nature no doubt, uh, most of uh, Sally's poem we find uh, natural elements and uh, in this poem also Sally talks about the power of nature. So the poet feels closely connected to the power of nature because in the poem the poet mentions about the power of the west wind and west wind is a natural object so obviously nature is very powerful and similarly west wind is also a very powerful object natural object so the poem is addressed to the west wind. The poem is addressed to the west wind. The poet speaks directly to the west. The poet speaks directly to the west wind. Next, the poet P.B. Sally mentions that west wind is a destroyer as well as preserver. So, west wind is a destroyer of dead leaves. Destroyer of dead leaves and a preserver of the living seeds. So, dead leaves are being destroyed by the west wind and living seeds are being preserved by the west wind and the living seeds by making them what does the west wind do with the living seeds by making them sprout into flowering plants so, the west wind preserves the living seeds so that the living seeds can convert into flowering plants. So, in this way, the poet describes the dual power, double power of the west wind. Double power means the west wind has the power that as a destroyer as well as preserver. West wind destroyer of dead leaves and preserver of 
leaving seeds the poet mentions the effect of the west wind over the sky so in the poem we see that the poet also makes the effect of the west wind over the sky because see see here refers to the west wind drives clouds over the blue sky so west wind can take away the clouds over the blue sky the clouds floating in the sky can be taken away by the west wind so west wind has the power to take away the cl the clouds over the blue sky she is regarded the constructor of the grave of the dying year so see here refers to west wind is regarded the constructor and what uh, what does the west wind con construct the grave the grave of the dying year so the west wind is a very powerful natural object and he has sorry she uh, has a power of destroying of dead leaves and preserving of the living seeds and next uh, west wind has the power of has the power on the clouds in the sky and uh, the clouds can be taken away by the power of west wind so in the poem we see that the poet wants to uh, wants to tell us the power of nature and uh, by the power of nature uh, he or uh, the poet sorry the poet uh, appeals to the powerful natural object west wind that uh, the thoughts of the poet can be spread by the west wind so that the society the world can create a new era by the by the thoughts of the poet so this is your part first of the poem or to the west wind by the pb sally and uh, the remaining part will be taught in your next video so thank you guys